Oop. We were a little worried about getting out of there because uh, it's a little bit of a lip there. All right, we'll see you in a couple days. Okay, Love you, girl. <laughs> see you in a couple days, right? Okay. We might be back tonight. We know you guys. All right. It's so beautiful. You and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. Free. Good morning everybody. A couple days since we last saw you guys. We are heading out of Aja's aunt and uncle's place and heading to Castroville. We're going to go check that out and see about the park there and then we'll probably meet back up with Aja and Mick and Colleen and the rest of the tribe in Austin Correct. somewhere. Correct. We're kind That's of the trying, plan. right, we're trying to avoid Austin, Dallas area right now because there's a huge storm that's been coming through there and it's packing golf, not golf ball, but ping pong ball size hail and we don't want any more damage to our vehicles. So nope. we're nope. trying to avoid that area. So it's, uh, Aja's going to stay here for a couple days. Scotty and I are going to go explore a little bit here in San Antonio and we're going to take you guys with us. Yep. All right. See you and guys it's a beautiful bit. day. Oh, it's kind of gorgeous. Warm. Yeah. 82 degrees. Humidity is really high, which is um, it's a little hard to take, but we're all good with that. So, Still beautiful. Yeah. So but we're, we're heading north. <laughs> we're now <laughs> we're going north. <laughs> Been all the way south as far as we could go, as far as I can see, and uh, we're going north now. Yeah. And I want to thank everybody. There's quite a few of you people out there that have been sending me personal emails about things to do to my hip. Um, it's not actually my hip, it's actually my sciatic. It's, um, I had an injury about 10 years ago and I think with the injury of the accident, I think it's just flared all that up. So everybody's, a lot of people have been sending me exercises, different types of ointments to do. Um, I even had a couple people say that they would send us stuff. Thank you so much. I, we are taken care of. I've got stuff that I'm putting on there, some naturopathic uh, ointments and stuff that I'm using. And, and the TENS unit. And the TENS unit that Mick um, lent me. So we're, it's getting better. It's just a very slow process because I think I had a lot of um, scar tissue from an accident. I fell down a flight of stairs. And then I think with the accident, having the whiplash pulling these muscles and stuff, it's just gone out of whack. So, um, that's true. That's sitting, it has gone out of whack. Sorry, that's good. Time. Good way sitting, to put it. Sitting and, and standing and walking has been excruciating for me, but I am getting better. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all of you guys' support. I, you guys are amazing. I mean, I've gotten so many personal emails from you guys. I'm just, it's overwhelming sometimes when when you think about how many friends we have out there now so we Absolutely. love you guys all so thank you guys very much okay we're gonna hit the road and we'll take you guys with us see you guys let's do it It's uh, pretty clean too. Lots Dirt. of corn. Lots of corn, yeah. But just uh, yeah, neat little town. Nice little town. So we'll go check it out.
Castro, Castroville uh, State Park, I think it's a state park or a county park. Anyways, we just went and of course we have to dump every couple weeks. So um, it's $15 to dump here and it's $35 to stay, to stay the night here in the RV park. And we were going to do that, but when we got here, it's not really our cup of tea for <laughs> uh, $35 just doesn't seem like it's a place that we want to stay so it's an absolutely gorgeous park um, to come and picnic at and have a good day at and everything and that's five dollars for you to have a picnic table and they and like I said thirty five dollars that's full hookups and Wi-Fi and then there's also a pool up here but I don't know if that's included in that if you have to pay for that additional I'm not really sure but it is a nice park and I would re recommend if you're in the area to come to the park because it is really pretty I'll show you um, I'm not gonna go walk around because there is a gate over here and it says um, RV campers only so I'll just show you guys right here what the RV park looks like in case you're interested in coming so that's the RV park over there. It's just lines of RVers, fifth wheels in there. They do have um, short term and long term, I believe is what I read on the um, website. So you can stay up to a month here at a time. I would rather just uh, go try to find somewhere else. I'm not really into wall to wall like that if I'm gonna pay $35. So we'll try to find somewhere else. I'm not sure we're going to find anywhere else. We might end up back with Aja tonight. Just, uh, we just wanted to come and check out this little town. But anyways, look at this park. It's gorgeous. It's huge. They're out there mowing the lawn right now. There's squirrels, butterflies all over the place. It's just, it's just a really nice park. Uh-oh, Scotty's in trouble. <laughs> The police are back here talking with Scotty. <laughs> Scotty's just got... Uh, he's just having a little talk with Scotty. Can you ever just stay out of trouble? No, I'm getting escorted by the police. I have I no clue why they came down here and kind of are watching us. Very kind, very nice people. <laughs> I'm just pumping my poo. <laughs> Freaked me out. I'm pump? all sweaty. Like, what did I do? <laughs> Were you pumping your poo incorrectly? <laughs> no, I did not. Okay. I did not so, flick anything. This wonderful police officer, he is going to escort us to um, one of the old buildings here. He asked us where we were heading, and um, Scott was telling him that we were heading, you know, somewhere probably in Austin and stuff. And then I said, but we wanted to film here a little bit to show you guys around this town. And he said, I'll pull up here and wait for you guys. And then he's going to take us and show us where the oldest church is and the oldest building in Texas. So we are getting escorted out of the park and to those locations. That sounds bad that we're getting escorted out of the park. <laughs> I mean, how sweet is that? To show us around, or not show us around, he is on duty, but just to show us where to go. And the other police officer, it's very um, sweet. he was stationed at Fort Lewis in oh, Tacoma very cool. for five years and everything. Right on. We'll talk about talk about service boy okay well I was telling them about the park and it's $35 not really our cup of tea for camping but uh, we might we may come back and we may not we're not sure what we're gonna do you never know where we're gonna end up there's walking trails over here not sure if you had to pay to do that, but uh, you can look it up. It's called Castroville, the little town of Castroville, and you'll see the park and everything. So, I kind of got that doohickey right in the way of you guys. So, what's it feel like being escorted out of town? 
<laughs> well, I, I guess it's better when they're in front of you than behind than in you. back of you, that's right. <laughs> hey, we're safe, right? There's nobody behind us, okay. That's <laughs> right. This is very kind of him to do that. What a, what a great way to be welcomed into a town. Very nice of him. You know what? That's kind of like something you see on TV. Cops? <laughs> well, a, cops in a town just doing good, good things for the, for the community. Well, I, I think it's, it's kind really, of funny that they showed really two sweet. of them showed up while I was doing what I'm doing. And I got, maybe I look like a shady guy. I didn't shave. I love how they do their fences here all in the... They just use the sticks from the trees. Just very rustic and uh, they're really neat looking. There's September Square is uh, down here. I'm not sure what that is, but this is an old part of town down there. So we'll have to go check that out. And then Landmark Inn, which, boy, that's an old building. It's a bed and breakfast now. Seven. Okay, oh, there's the Castroville, Castroville Visitor Center right there. This old house here, this was disassembled. Here, hold I on, let her, I think like in the 1400s or something like that, taken apart, brought over here piece by piece and reassembled. So wow, it's, it's five from six, France, it's right? right now. And oh. you can go all the way through it. They have some up at the top, some of the original wooden beams from the 1400s. Wow. Wow. 1500s. How well, they brought neat. it all the way here. Incredible. Every stick and rebuild it. The story's all in there. You can okay, well, Now, when you definitely. get ready to leave, if you go right back here to this traffic light, okay. if you want to go up into Casterville, you would go up to the next light, take a, a right, and that takes you up into the city, and you'll find Houston Square right in the middle, which has the old church. When you get ready to leave Highway 90, right that way, takes you all the way to I-35, hang a left, and head toward Austin. Oh, that to Austin. right on. Might, might stay in town here I think tonight. we'll try to say, stay in town a little bit. If you go bit. to Austin this time of day, you go on I-35, you'll be hours stuck in traffic. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, okay. no. I would, I would say if you stay overnight tonight and then Do they let, let the you rush stay at the hour Walmart die down. Do yep. they, yep. you say that okay. one? Okay. Huh. Or right where you fueled up, they do overnighters too. Okay, oh, right on. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but, oh, where we're just Very at. Cool. Yeah, they do overnight. They do nightly fees. Because it's Aja's place back in San Antonio. We got to go that way back anyways yeah. to go yeah. to where we're going. But I want to see we a lot of stuff here. here so. You don't yeah. want to go on I-35 from now for the rest of today. Okay. Unless okay. you just have to get in Austin tonight. No, and where's nope, the nope. best barbecue joint in town? There <laughs> One. It, there's barbecue right there. Bill barbecue. Yeah, I, okay. That is, we may go over there. For barbecue. Uh, okay. It's it's okay. It's passable. Uh, the, the the best barbecue is probably up over in Hondo, but he closes like at five or six o'clock. Okay. So, yeah. Our okay. lunch all the that time. Was all, that was passable. Okay. All our time. Donuts close, and then the damn barbecue. <laughs> no best donuts and pastries in town. Oh no. That, that, He's telling you, Scotty where the best donuts are. are. <laughs> right there, they make all the Alsatian breads. And okay. okay. Yep, and we're going to... a good place to hit in the morning on your way out. Oh, Get coffee awesome. and pastries and donuts. And how do you pronounce that? Als Where? Alsatian? Alsatian. Alsatian. It's a region in France. In France. Like a region. Oh. Okay. Oh. It's the sister city to Castroville. Okay. Know, the and that's where this house came from was France or whatever, right? It's either France or Germany. I'm it's France. Real, okay. It is France. I did look that up. Yeah, so. I think it's that. We right. brought it over every piece from France. So I need to ask you, are you okay being on YouTube? Oh, is that where I'm going? <laughs> <laughs> love that. Officer Fisher, thank you, sir, thank you so right, much. Right, what yeah, a wonderful yeah, thank you. Okay. See, again, a nice super town. Yeah, Love that, these people. that was just absolutely awesome. He gave us some good information. He told Scotty where the best donuts in town were. <laughs> so we'll ha definitely have to go over there. I think we will probably stay 
we are not much on scene in Walmart parking lots, but that might be the thing that we might do tonight. Well, but if we have to go back that way. Yeah, so we may do that just so we can uh, stick around and uh, check out the little 